Hello everyone, my name is Danny Matar, and today I am going to present a research proposal on using 3D printing for manufacturing of prosthetic socket for lower limb using a freeform fabrication mold. As you can see in this content list, the key parts of my presentation include motivation, background, state of the art, strategy and approach, and finally, summary and references. First, I would like to start with motivation. The key motivation of the project is to address the huge gap between the demand and supply of prosthetic body parts. Today in the United States, more than 2.1 million people live with limb loss. Can you imagine that? This number is expected to double by the year 2050. Currently, more than 185,000 people in the country require amputations, while the current rate of amputations is just 300 to 500 amputations per day. Three key factors influence the accessibility of prosthetic limbs. Cost, expertise, stigma, and mental distress caused due to the use of additive devices. The present proposal focuses on developing 3D printing prosthetic socket for the lower limb. Now let's go into the background. The creation of prosthetic sockets requires the expertise of processists and a long time to create additive devices for accuracy and comfort. Two key methods are used to manufacture additive devices. The first one is the conventional method that uses technology in a limited manner for data requirements. Prosthetic parts are developed from mold and are designed and created by prosthetists. The second emerging method in the field of prosthetics is the use of rapid prototyping. It is a technology dependent method and uses data from CAD or CAM to create sockets directly. This method does not involve the creation of the mold and is dependent on technology as well as prosthetists. The conventional method and rapid prototyping both have their limitations. The conventional method is costly, time consuming, and depends on the prosthetist's expertise. The prosthetic device is often painful, uncomfortable, leading to mental stress. On the other hand, the prosthetic sockets developed using rapid prototyping showcase limited mechanical strength and are also painful and uncomfortable as prosthetic sockets require compliance to fit in the anatomical part of the amputee. Presently, 3D printing techniques like stereolithography, fused composition modeling, and thermal injection printing are used to create prosthetic sockets. ZP-130 parts used to, used to develop prosthetic 3D sockets are found to collapse in water in absence of proper post-processing, treatment, or handling. Moreover, new materials for 3D printing require legal sanctions, medical sanctions, and convincing the patients. Present research proposes using a combination of 3D printing and conventional socket manufacturing process to obtain more comfortable, accurate, and strong prosthetic sockets by using a ZP140 powder. The ZP140 is known to resemble the texture of plaster and is stronger than ZP130. The hybrid method will remove the need of compliance for an anatomical fit, thus reducing discomfort for the patients. Let's go into the state of the art. Prosthetic manufacturing to date has been focused on creating prosthetic implants based on functionality alone. Present prosthetic manufacturing techniques do not take into account other critical factors like aesthetics, comfort, and financial restrictions. The use of 3D printing technology addresses challenges of conventional functionality-based prosthetic devices by creating customized additive devices in a cost-effective manner. Currently, the use of 3D printing for additive devices manufacturing is at its nascent stage. Increasing scientific interest and phenomenal research development because of three important reasons. First, creating prosthetic parts using 3D printing is faster compared to the conventional method. Second, the cost and the time advantages allow users to opt opt for the new prosthetic in case of a change in the dimensions of the required prosthetics due to weight gain, wear and tear, or patient growth. 
And finally, third, it provides an amputee with a customized additive device ASAP, but also at a lesser cost. Next, we have a strategy and approach. The proposed strategy to use 3D printing for manufacturing prosthetic sockets for lower limbs using a free form fabrication mold involves three key steps. First step, developing a mold using CAD or CAM. Second, creating a 3D printed prosthetic socket using ZP140. And third, testing the socket for its comfort, strength, and aesthetics. In order to develop a preform mold, the amputee's anatomy will be scanned using the computer-aided design and manufacturing software to obtain a 3D scan. The obtained data will be processed using TraceCAD software to convert the flat scan data to a 3D model with uniform wall thickness. This data will be used to create freeform mold. The proposed hybrid technique of using 3D software provides two levels of flexibility. One, Data generated during the scan can be used multiple times across the years in case of any changes required for a prosthetic device. Second, the freeform mold created using 3D printing can be modified by hand rather than manufacturing a new mold whenever changes are required. The next step in the process involves creating a prosthetic socket using 3D printing based on the developed freeform mold using fused depositional modeling of 3D. ZP140 powder will be used in a 3D printer to create a socket. The ZP140 powder will be fused with high impact polystyrene to provide more strength and water resistivity to the prosthetic socket. The obtained socket will be further permutated with PU resin after drying it at low oven temperatures to enhance its mechanical properties. This socket will be tested on robotic modes for long-lasting cycles and undergo functionality checks. Lastly, the developed ZP140 prosthetic sockets will be tested on human beings for comfort, strength, and water resistance. Well, we have reached the end of this presentation. As it was stated before, the proposed research aims to use a combination of conventional and 3D printing techniques to obtain an accurate, comfortable, and strong prosthetic socket. The 3D scanning technique to create a freeform mold will create a 3D scan data with a uniform wall thickness, which will generate higher scan accuracy of the anatomy, which in turn will increase the accuracy of the model. Of the mold. The use of CP140 with high impact polystyrene will provide strength and durability to the additive device, thus enhancing the usability of the prosthetic part. The test on human subjects will help establish the accuracy and credibility of the created socket, which can enable the process of using the sockets for clinical use. For more information on any specific topic, the current slide showcases academic sources used for developing the project. I really want to thank you all for listening to me. Please let me know if anyone has any questions or suggestions. Have a good day.